Although poor sleep is a common problem, it can have severe consequences such as an increased risk of high blood pressure or type 2 diabetes. Melatonin is a hormone that tells your body when it's time to head to bed. And it's also become a very popular supplement amongst those who do struggle to fall asleep. In this video, we're looking at just how melatonin works, uh, its safety and how much to take. Melatonin is a hormone made naturally by your body. Now it works with your body's internal clock called the circadian rhythm. Melatonin is often called the sleep hormone as high levels can help you fall asleep. However, melatonin itself won't knock you out. It simply lets your body know that it's nighttime so you can relax and fall asleep easier. Melatonin levels start to rise in your body when it's dark outside, signaling to your body that it's time to sleep. Conversely, light suppresses melatonin production. This is one way that your body knows it's time to wake up. So because melatonin helps your body prepare for rest, uh, people who don't make enough of it uh, may have issues going to sleep. There are many factors that may cause low levels at night. Uh, stress, smoking, exposure to too much light at night, including blue light from our electronic devices, um, not getting enough natural light during the day, shift work and aging, they all affect our melatonin production. A melatonin supplement can help you fall asleep. There is some evidence that a melatonin supplement can help before bed. In an analysis of 19 studies on people with sleep disorders, scientists found that melatonin helped reduce the time it took to fall asleep by an average of seven minutes. In many of these studies, people also reported significantly better quality of sleep. Uh, the authors concluded that the effects of melatonin on sleep are modest, but do not appear to dissipate with continued melatonin use. Additionally, melatonin can help with jet lag, which occurs when your body's internal clock is out of sync with the new time zone. For instance, an analysis of 10 studies found that melatonin was remarkably effective at reducing the effects of jet lag in people who traveled through five or more time zones. The analysis also found that both lower doses, so half a milligram, and high doses, five milligrams, were equally effective at reducing jet lag. There is some research that suggests melatonin supplements may provide you with other health benefits as well, but this evidence is preliminary. This includes supporting eye health, uh, treating stomach ulcers uh, and gastroesophageal reflux, uh, treating tinnitus, and maybe even uh, helping with seasonal depression. Safety and side effects. Current evidence suggests that melatonin supplements are safe, uh, non-toxic, and not addictive. That being said, some people may experience mild side effects such as sleepiness, dizziness, headaches, and nausea. It may also interact with a variety of medications, including blood thinners, blood pressure medication, and antidepressants. So if you take any of those, it's best to check up with your doctor before beginning uh, the supplement. There is also some concern that taking too much melatonin will stop your body from making it naturally. Uh, however, several studies have found that taking melatonin uh, won't affect your body's ability to make it on its own. So if you'd like to try melatonin, uh, it's best to follow the instructions that come with the supplement. Typically it recommends that you start with a lower dose of half a milligram to one milligram uh, and have that about 30 minutes before bed. Now if that doesn't work, uh, it will usually recommend you increase the dose uh, to three to five milligrams. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.